welcome and hello to Falls to Ohio State Park, which is located in Clarksville, Indiana, or very much southern Indiana, right across the Ohio River from Louisville, Kentucky. You may uh, connect the name Clarksville, Indiana with William Clark. However, the city is actually named after William's older brother, George Rogers Clark, whose house and cabin, which is a part of the Falls to Ohio State Park, both Meriwether Lewis, William Clark, and the nine Kentuckians, along with York, stayed for a week prior to starting their Corps of Expedition or uh, their venture out west. Here at the Falls of Ohio, we offer many attractions. One of the most prominent one is the one you see right behind me. It is the Lewis and Clark handshake statue, which denotes the adventures of the Corps of Discovery with Meriwether Lewis and William Clark, uh, where they started their, their adventures. This is where they joined hands at and came together. This is also where they separated when they came back. This immediate region is where Lewis and Clark also recruited nine Kentuckians and brought along William Clark's slave, York. So it is now a part of the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail. Other attractions at this location is George Rogers Clark's cabin, the Revolu Revolutionary War hero who took from the British during the Revolutionary War what we call the Old Northwest Territory, or we call it the states of Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Eastern Minnesota. Located at the Falls of Ohio State Park is also the largest Located at the Falls of Ohio is also the site of the largest Devonian fossil beds in the Western Hemisphere. There are over 660 different varieties or species of fossils that have been located here. One third of them are what we call, what do we call those? Let me do that part again. Right, right, they'll, they'll edit it. Also located at the Falls of Ohio, we are known for our Devonian fossil beds, which are the largest exposed Devonian fossil beds in the Western Hemisphere. 660 species of fossils have been located here, more variety than any other location on Earth. And one third of them are referred to as type fossils. That is, they were found here first and then located in other locations. The falls is also known for its fishing and behind me you see the mighty Ohio River and the city of Louisville, Kentucky uh, to my rear. Within the Ohio River, we have 125 different species of fish. Some of the most prominent ones are gonna be the blue catfish, the sauger, the paddlefish, the long-nosed gar, and stripers. We also have some invasive species here known as the Asian carp which get to be about 40 pounds long in weight. Within that river, eating those fish, you may find many river birds. Some of the more common ones that you'll see are the great blue herring, the night herring, the great egret, the snow egret, the double-breasted cormorant, some people's favorites is the bald eagle, and the osprey with many, many other varieties that you can see here when the river is at its low point. You may notice along the Ohio River you see a lot of driftwood. If you are at the Falls of Ohio, if you see driftwood, you are welcome to collect it and use it for walking sticks, table decorations, or yard decorations. So why is the Falls of Ohio here? Why isn't it two miles upriver or four miles downriver? The reason is, this is where everything happens. This is where George Rogers Clark placed his militia's base camp before starting the Illinois campaign. This is where younger brother, William Clark, with Meriwether Lewis, started and ended the core discovery. This is where James John Audubon painted the Ohio River birds. This is also the location, as I mentioned, the largest exposed Devonian fossil beds in the Western Hemisphere. So it's important to, to protect places like this. And the city of Clarksville 
and the Kentuckiana region has taken great pride in catering to the tourism of both the Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail as well as the other main natural and cultural features located in this area. Each year we have about 500,000 visitors that visit the Falls of Ohio State Park. Mm -hmm. Many of them are bicyclists or walking tourists. Others are feet people who want to come here to fish or just to sightsee, sit down, relax, have a picnic. We do offer a museum that hosts the four main themes at the Falls of Ohio State Park. That being an ancient sea, a clash between cultures, the falls today, and a changing landscape. We hope you find the time to come enjoy us and visit us at the Falls of Ohio State Park. Peak season is between Memorial Day and Veterans Day each year. At that time, the Ohio River is usually at a low point, and you can get out and expose on exposed fossil beds and enjoy many of the wonders here you can find. Thank you, and we hope to see you at the Falls of Ohio State Park.